subscribe now. EU debates. Indeed, our colleagues from the far right didn't do their homeworks because Mr. So-called Oberstleutnant Simiok obviously didn't read the report. Because what are we talking about there? I mean, it's a compromised report with EPP, with Social Democrats, with Liberals. So the capabilities of actual military activity where needed are not impacted by that report. But we're basically talking about reducing CO2 emissions by changing the way we, we're cooling our houses, that, how we're heating uh, uh, the, the needed infrastructures. And, and how we are replacing procurement uh, um, with products that are less CO2 emitting or maybe even CO2 neutral. And out of the conversations with the generals, actually, I also learned that the, the provision of fossil fuels to our missions, in example, in Sahel, is one of the biggest security risks that we have. And colleagues to the far right, which are not here anymore, unfortunately, have you realized that our dependency on fossil fuels is one of our biggest security threats we are having in the moment? And this counts for the whole society as it counts for our civilian and military missions. So maybe next time when you walk out here and spread your interesting information, maybe you do your homeworks first and see where the potential lies. And also I learned, also from a general, that even electrifying tanks would be a good idea because this kind of fuel could be produced right there where the mission is, in the middle of the desert, and a tank is so heavy already that the batteries don't matter. But okay, if you in principle want to be against everything that has the name climate and that kind of points out to the real problems and to the long-standing problems that we have, that's where we are. And unfortunately also, Mick Wallace, you're still here at least. Uh, the text says that part of the research money should be used to also develop technologies that emit less CO2 and are more environmentally friendly. And I think it makes sense to at least use parts of the defense money for these kind of uses, which we could maybe also disseminate for the civilian sector. But last but not least, I want to thank again all the shadow rapporteurs that worked with me. We had an intensive compromising. Uh, we included all the amendments and all the important inputs from all sides, and we produced a balanced report that reflects many views and many also political standpoints. And this is clearly a report that shows green participation and leadership, but it's clearly a report that includes the whole spectrum of perspectives that are needed for this sector, and I want to thank all of them once again, and I hope we're going to get a big majority on the vote tomorrow. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.